So add this to the list of 2020 disappointments. We blocked off our calendar so we wouldn't miss our youngest son's graduation. Then COVID came and it got canceled. Then we booked a charter mid-July. Then they rescheduled graduation for mid-July. Then he wasn't going to go. Then his girlfriend said he had to. Long story long, his big bro came to his graduation and we watched it virtually with our guests. Wait, wait, there's Aiden right there. Wait, we just heard it on the TV. Look at he's laughing. Oh, he's like, cha ching. Wait, we just heard it. We're watching him on the TV. Alden, yes. All right, Alden. All right, Alden. Yeah. 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 Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is the space between. Every single day, cause I love my occupation. Illuminate my future, bright, so thankful for everything. Rejuvenate in my inner light as I work hard for all I need. Open arms, embrace the life, and all the which you gave me. I work it pays off, I'm happy now, it's paying me. Do the shit and love it on a daily. Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave. Never leave, but that ain't gonna be me, that ain't gonna be me. My brother called me, I said he saw me on TV. And then we'll go, come on, we miss breakfast, we'll have to wait till tomorrow. We got nice. We're not eating today, anyway. I'm not eating it. And then if we, you want to eat it, we'll eat it. Because they get the salt water all off. Seaweed? Full of seaweed. Is it full full? Well, it's that much. Yeah, that ain't full. That ain't full. So being a second time guest on The Space Between, you get all the luxuries of doing what you're doing. Wait, I did it the first time. Oh. Well, you were so good at it the first time, we decided to let you do it again. Look at that, squeaky good, clean. Squeaky clean. He's even using his own toothbrush. <laughs> Of the last meal. Awesome. It was so last meal was delicious. Awesome. Doesn't look like anybody liked it at all. No. Happy Plate Club. Happy Plate Club and very little bit left. I had three dishes. I had two. And I think we're going to make a nice little pile on the side of the sink. Yeah. Because I have, I just did all the dishes from what it took to cook this meal. Oh, so we're not. And doing it's already that. full, and I ain't drying dishes. So we're just gonna leave them till tomorrow when I'm ready to do them, and we're gonna call it a night and get ready and go out on the town. Yay! Woo! Woo! Who's ready to do Key West, COVID style? COVID style. COVID style. Check your mask. Mask. Will travel. Mask. Have mask. Will travel. Have mask. Will travel. Perfect. So it is the upholding. Crew's last day here. We decided we're going to rent some scooters and buzz around Key West. I know you. on some later our shocks are gone well. where y'all want to go you so we went to check on the southernmost point it's good to see it uncovered people back in line Hex angels. Hex, Hex, we're hex angels, angels. Wait, what's our sign uh, it's just two fingers in the middle everything else down two fingers in the middle <laughs> the space between fingers and thumb out <laughs> i can't do that oh that's the space between <laughs> This evening we're going to sit no, no, in three places today because I can't get this stank on signal right. <laughs> so we headed over to the Lighthouse and Hemingway House to see what the situation was these days since the COVID. And again, people were in line and it's great to see things getting back to normal. Then we headed over to Fort Zachary State Park. This is always a great place to run around, take a look at the scenery, and enjoy a little bit of tranquility in the middle of the city. Fort Taylor is located on the southwest tip of Key West. 
on Thompson Island. With its five foot thick walls rising 50 feet out of the water, it protected the 800 men that were sent here to keep it from falling into Confederate hands. After working up an appetite at the fort, the crew decided to go get some Cuban food while Holly and I ran over to Stock Island to visit our favorite taco truck. And then as we head back to the boat, we found the merriment had already oh, started without long. us. What you going, I'm guaranteed to make you wrong. You say the lottery of that one. Look at this. Hop, hip, hop. The hip, the hop. Completely real. Bang, bang, boogie, boogie. Up, chuck the boogie. Bang, bang, boogie, boogie, boogie. Big pop, big pop. Big pop. Big pop. Oh, we love you. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to brag. Everybody, it's an all skate. All skate, all skate. This was definitely an all skate. Yep. So we all went to the skate center growing up here with all the It's an all skate. It's an all skate. Sad day. Sad day, Mr. Upholm. Sad day. That was a fun week. It was an awesome week. We will do it again. <laughs> Bye. 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 Wait, wait. Let me get it. Get it. <laughs> While transferring the boat to Stock Island, the new crew. Uh, catamarans, Leopard just called the Coast Guard. I guess both engines. Uh, transmissions. Both transmissions are out and they can't get their anchor down. So, we are putting our hungover cape on and. <laughs> oh, with no fuel. With no fuel. That's probably not so Actually, smart. We've got their so I guess they're going to get towed into Stock Island by Boats US and we will rendezvous with them there and see if there's anything we can do to assist them. And our crew just called and she's in town and going to lunch with her boyfriend in Key West and then going to be up to us. Okay, good deal. We cannot believe they're here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is what a boat looks like after all your charter guests leave. Not so bad, right? I mean, just a little bit of laundry here and there, you know. And apparently, Holly got her wires crossed with Whipple, and they're here. <laughs> Sailing the space between, here we are once again, in this beautiful, incredible yacht. Take eight! Take eight, bam! Oh, what does that mean? Take it's eight. your eighth trip. Oh, it's our oh, eighth trip, trip, yes. Trip. Yes. My beautiful, lovely concubine <laughs> oh my. have been here eight times, and we love this. And we're being joined by Jasmine, who is crew for Sailing the Space Between. And she has a very interesting story, and I can't wait to get to it. But i, I got to tell you, we're all excited because uh, she's here, and she's not <laughs> from Texas, which was where most great people come from. Uh, it's the other great place. Yeah, it's the other, the great, other great place. place. The other great place. And I'll let her tell you about that. So, Jasmine, welcome to Sailing the Space Between. And thanks for being here. So tell us. Tell us about you. About yeah. me. Thanks for being here because no one else would have been able to help me get the boat ready when they show up a whole they freaking day, day early. Earlier. So, so, so the, that's why I'm here. Yeah. I'm never going to live that down. I'm Holly's helper. second hand. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So tell us about yourself, Jennifer. Well, I myself, so I started traveling two and a half years ago with my boyfriend. So we traveled all over the world and decided a few months ago that we want to buy a sailboat. So Nick sold his house and here we are. So we are trying to get hands on the lines and just get some experience in sailing. 
that's why we're here. So I hope God is a good teacher. Oh, right. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. The, the cameraman is shaking right now, but he is a great teacher. Yeah, I hope, Scott, I hope he does sailing better than videotaping. I want to call him Captain Clark, but uh, he does yeah. he does really well. So, so uh, you're looking at, at, at getting a catamaran. Yeah, we are on the market for a catamaran. You're on the market for a catamaran. And, yeah. and, but this is really interesting because you have spent the last couple of years traveling the world. Yeah. And, and you're, I mean, that's a really interesting story. You, you uh, have a, I mean, I back could to Germany sit here for, for five, four hours and tell you about it. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then it, it's the start, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. And, and luckily, Scott, you know, is nice enough to allow you to come on the boat and, and to help. Uh, I think, I think he owes us all. Yeah. There you go. It's Holly. Because oh, nice we're just there. excited that it's you're here. It's always Holly. We are. But <laughs> but the, here's the cool thing is you're wanting to go sailing, and and you guys are going to head out east, right? You're you're not Hopefully. wanting to be in yeah. the in the, not the Mexico or in the Caribbean. You're you want to be west, out Papua New Guinea. I yeah. mean west. Yeah. Well, I guess <laughs> yeah, depends west. on what direction you're looking at, right? Yeah. So so uh, Indonesia, <laughs> and and but you've been out there quite a bit before. Yeah. And this is really we neat. We spent because more than half a year in Indonesia, and that's where we want to go back. But we kind of want to start for the States. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Very cool. And, and by the way, she's from Germany. So, uh, oh, oh, I'm getting the, the hurry up. You're long winded. <laughs> You're being yeah. long winded. I'm very long winded. Very long. Well, he needs content very yeah. bad. <laughs> He does, he does. And this is the best content you'll have in quite a while, i got to tell you. I guess we will get back to that the next day. So we'll oh, have another yeah. five so, days of yes. adventure. So it's going to so. be fun. Oh, uh, we're going to so come back to it. Don't you <laughs> worry. We're going to be showing you running the boat and, and working and, and doing your thing as Scott is going to be teaching you. Yeah, as he taught me, I've, uh, I've been taught and it didn't soak in very well, but that's fine. I, <laughs> I know how to make a margarita. That's that's for <laughs> Maybe that's your job. Yeah, that's my day. job making margaritas. That's good. Pressure. Please, take it on. No pressure. Add it over. Through. And then don't pull on the wrong <laughs> one. Yes. <laughs> da da! Yay! What did you think about Captain Jack? Woo hoo, Captain Jack. <clears throat> what an interesting fellow. But better than that, what a great place to stop over and chill out of the water. So. And uh, just enjoy an evening uh, with Captain Jack in his crazy pad with his interesting situation at and Fireball. His fireball Work. shots, huh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, you had to. Uh, you had to, to explain the Fireball shot just so everybody can get yeah, a visual. Because so if, if you visit Captain Jack, you know, he has fireballs on the side of his house. And everybody that visits has to take a shot. Yes. And he serves uh, you. Yes, in a dispenser yeah. with your mouth underneath of it. Not in a shot glass. <laughs> Not in a shot glass, yeah. no. And he he decides when to to turn the nozzle off <laughs> when it's pouring out the side of your mouth. Yeah. Yes. And if you ever get there, try to get everything in your mouth because he will lick it off in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. He didn't go for that for me. <laughs> <laughs> It is a busy day at Lou Key. Woo! Woohoo! Is this your first time at the, after eight trips with us? First time for what? First, first time at Lou Key. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Looky there. Always new adventures Always to be new had new on the space between. The space between, yes. <laughs> Love All these adventures. adventures and loads of fun. And you are snorkeling with a dive master, so if yeah. I take care for you, she's yes. That what that means. yes, that's exactly <laughs> what that means. Welcome to the next not lesson. not lesson. Which knot do we do now? I think Scott said it was called the trailer knot. The trailer knot. So show us how to do that. Okay. So you loop it like so, one end longer than the other. Mm -hmm. Let it go. You pull it out like that. Great. 
awesome. And we just and four footsies. Lost one. <laughs> Luckily, it was the chefs. <laughs> And I wasn't that hungry. So how do we rescue them? I don't know. I'm sitting here contemplating how to do this. So let's get a paper plate. Yeah, that's it. That looks good. Yeah, that's almost perfect. Almost perfect. Yeah, that happens if you make pizza in four or five foot waves. Does it have any hair on it? Yeah, it still looks alright. would you guess were there? hundred. <sighs> Probably three or four hundred. Oh yeah. my mm -hmm. goodness. Yeah. Okay, so. Today we have some German cooking lessons. Yes. We do meatloaf and spätzle. So spätzle are like German egg noodles. Oh, right. It's specialty out of Swabian. <laughs> okay, that we found at Publix. Yeah. <laughs> so, we cut an onion. And there we have onions. And there's some pepper in it, some salt, mustard, and. You are wetting bread. Mm -hmm. Wait, hang on, let me wet back up. Kind of mix it up, have it in little pieces, and two eggs are important as well. Okay. Alright, so now you're frying up the pancetta bacon bits. Because mm -hmm. everything is better on the plate. <laughs> so they say. So we got a big old bowl of sing it. Meatloaf. No. What? <laughs> what, you, what is your word for ground beef? Minced beef. <laughs> <laughs> Big old bowl of minced beef. Meanwhile, day after we get back, there should be a tropical storm heading Florida. Never a dull moment. Not on the ceiling space. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. So while that is cooking, we have to boil the special 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 but quick. Well, what I that. Spit. 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 And we'll be off. And. Wow. How does it look? Oh. Give me the hand. Good. Look at that. Nice and golden brown on top. Right to the face. <laughs> the <laughs> grease. All good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. I don't know if I'll. Do we need to strain it again or no? Let's Fantastic. All right, everybody. The true testament to see if anybody liked it. I think well, they we got, all like it. They got seconds, yeah. so <laughs> they don't count. Yeah, they both have seconds. Really good. Yeah, That's off, Charlie Chef? Yeah, definitely. All right. You know it's good when Scott likes it. All right, good morning everyone. We are rolling again. Stopped rolling again. Quick stop at uh, Yacht Haven in Marathon because there was no balls available, so we docked up for the night. Had a nice air conditioning evening and got an early start this morning. As uh, now we have a tropical depression or some sort of, does it have a name yet? Do we know? I don't think it has a name yet. Okay, some sort of unnamed something. tropical system. Yeah. TS something something something. And it's um, coming in behind us. Yes, so 
So we are trying to get an early start and make our way northeast. Is that the sound of sailing I hear? Sound of <laughs> Have we made the turn yet or no? Yeah, we're past. In the Gulf Stream. Are you still working, Whipple? I, I was, but now I'm just looking at the speedometer. That's not bad. Under sail. We are doing seven knots. Eight knots. Seven knots. Pretty exciting. Nice, nice. We just wanted to make sure Jasmine at least got to sail while she was on board because uh, we've been dead into the wind pretty much. <laughs> We don't like to waste any time doing our whole tacking business left to right. <laughs> now we're trying to outrun a tropical storm. So, here we are, sailing away. Hey, what do we get here? Well, the captain is cat busy captaining, so he has passed the baton to me to recreate the soggy dollar painkillers. So what is in it? So, lights you see minus the buildings all the little lights in the water that you see are all little lobster boats because today is opening day or opening night of mini season what I was trying to say is we are here we made it <laughs> from marathon <laughs> to, to Guess Miami. where this is? Miami. 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 M to M. From 7 a.m. We started it. We pulled off dock probably about 7, 10, 10, 7, 10, 7, right 15. 11. And right at 11 o'clock. So and how many hours is that? <laughs> and we were into the wind and we railed the Gulf Stream and we did the Rickenbacker Causeway at night. Yeah. And, and we got some sailing in. And we sailed. <laughs> Well, this run was definitely one for the books. From Marathon to Key Biscayne, 111 miles in the Gulf Stream, averaging 8.3 knots. Arriving in at 11 p.m., headed back to Lauderdale at 8 a.m. Exiting the port of Miami at 7.47 a.m. Trailer not coming in handy. Keep the casserole in the oven. <laughs> it's coming this way. Well, we're underway in rough seas. Here we go under the bridge. Well, oh, that boat's got tugboats. Little baby tugboats. Who'd have thought? With furry noses. He needs to shave. Is it on? Nope. Nope. You want to take a time out and go get wet in the pool so it doesn't feel so blistering hot? That sounds good, but I'm done here. So. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it does. It's raining here, obviously. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. You're not leaving tomorrow. Both of you, epic fail. <laughs> All right, everybody, we gotta say our goodbyes to Jasmine. Bye, Jasmine. Bye. Thank you for bringing a little bit of Germany to South Florida. <laughs> yeah, how did you like your cruise? Ah, uh, loved it. Absolutely. You loved it? Yeah. And the crew? Yeah. The crew was awesome. The crew was <laughs> badass. And, you know, learning a little bit about, about Germany and your travels, that was great fun. Always fun to meet people on the space with you. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed your time and you learned some things. Yeah, yeah I did. I learned a lot. Yeah, she learned that she doesn't want to buy a boat and go sailing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we broke we broke it out of her. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Next we can go back with a gun. <laughs>
<laughs> Say bye. Okay, so if you need a crewmate, she's fantastic. Her husband is also, our boyfriend, sorry, is also available. And he's really handy. Very handy. And, and they come as a team if you want them both together. Or separate. <laughs> <laughs> what fucking <I> day. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jasmine. Thanks. You can buy all